सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली इट्स इलेक्शन सीजन डांस ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस आई एंड माई कॉलिग्स अबाउट वॉट है poll bound states all this costs money please subscribe to the print as shown on your screens now let me come to this episode of politically correct in which i am going to talk about prime minister nain modi's promise to the madiga community in telangana and how it shows a shift in the bjp's principled stance on caste politics in fact the ruling party at the center appears to have made a leap of faith virtually endorsing rahul gandhi's idea of जितनी आबादी उतना हक इन ए ब्रॉडर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स राहुल गांधी टॉक्स अबाउट दिस इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द कास्ट सेंसस ही बेसिकली सेज द राइट्स इन प्रोपोर्शनेट विद द पॉपुलेशन जितनी आबादी उतना हक सो हाउ डिज दिस शिफ्ट कम अबाउट ऑन द इलेवेंथ ऑफ नवंबर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एड्रेस ए रैली ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द माडीगा रिजर्वेशन पोलता समिति एम आर पी एस एट सिकंदराबाद इन हैदराबाद एंड दिस एम आर पी एस हेडेड बाय मांडा कृष्ण माडीगा has been agitating for the sub categorization of the scheduled castes since 1994 so that the madigas could get a fair share of reservation benefits in jobs and education their grouse has been that the malas and other uh, sc subgroup who are numerically smaller end up cornering a large share of the sc reservation benefits there's 15% reservation in sc in telangana let me recap what the prime minister said in his address he said the bjp understands the injustice meted out to the madiga community we are committed to the to ending this injustice as soon as possible we will set up a committee soon to enable your empowerment in every way you and i know that a big judicial process is on in the supreme court i consider your fight a fight for justice the constitution baba saheb ambedkar gave has entrusted the responsibility of justice to me that was prime minister narendra modi telling a rally of madigas essentially he told them that it was an injustice to the madigas that they were not getting reservation benefits proportionate to their population referring to the pending case in the supreme court the prime minister suggested that according to the constitution he as the head of the elected government was entrusted with ensuring justice therefore he would set up a committee to empower the madigas to ensure better reservation benefits and while talking he said krishna aapko bahut sathi mile ho mile hain learning ke liye aaj ek sathi aur jod do he was talking about manda krishna uh, manda uh, krishna who is uh, heading that organization so he said krishna you have got many supporters to fight add one more today that was the prime minister to the mrps chief endorsing his fight for better reservation benefits before we come to what modi's remarks mean for national politics let's briefly discuss why he said what he said backward classes constitute uh, more than 50% of telangana's population the bjp has promised the chief minister from the bc community if it comes to power in the southern state from badhi sanjay kumar the deposed state bjp chief to itala rajendra who came from the brs and the bandi detractor and k lakshmana member of the bjp parliamentary board they are all bcs they are all chief ministerial contenders it's another matter that the bjp replaced an obc leader bandi sanjay with G Krishna G Krishna Reddy as the state BJP chief in July Telangana was part of Andhra Pradesh during the 2011 uh, when the 2011 census was conducted which pegged the SC population at around 16% in the undivided state Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao has however said that the SC population in Telangana 
constitute 17.53% of the population as per a comprehensive uh, household survey done in 2015. Therefore, the CM has demanded that the reservation quota for the SC should be revised. The Madhigas are estimated to constitute around 60% of the scheduled caste in Telangana. And that's why the BJP is making this pitch for a BC chief minister and better reservation for Madhigas. So, if you have 50 percent, uh, over 50 percent OBC population and Madhigas who constitute about 60 percent of the overall SC population of about 17 uh, percent in the state, that makes a perfect vote bank for the BJP which is trying to kind of expand its uh, footprints in the state. The Congress has been accusing the BJP of being hand in glove with the BRS, citing replacement of fiery Bandi Sanjay with the malleable ready and alleging that central investigation agencies are going soft on KCR's daughter K. Kavita in the alleged Delhi excise scam. I spoke about this in previous episode of Politically Correct. There has been much speculation in Telangana especially that Modi would like KCR who la largely supported the BJP government in parliament to be on the right side in case the BJP needs allies after the 2024 Lok Sabha election. The fact, however, is that the BRS can't afford to be seen as a BJP ally. In a state where Muslims are estimated to swing results in about 40 out of 119 assembly seats. However, politicians across the ideological spectrum and analysts in Telangana have been of the view that the BJP has gone soft on the BRS just to keep the Congress out of power. There is massive anti-incumbency against the KCR-led government, despite a host of freebies it has been offering to different sections of the state's population. And the BJP wouldn't like the Congress to benefit out of it. Putting conspiracy theories aside, BJP leaders tell me that regardless of the media-created perception about the BJP becoming the BRS's principal challenger, it was never the case. In fact, a senior BJP leader told me, and I'm quoting him, we are confident that we will increase our vote share to 15 percent. You know, they got uh, BJP got 7 percent in 2018 assembly, assembly polls. You will see surprising results in 2024 general election. In fact, in 2019, the BJP secured 4 out of 17 Lok Sabha seats in the state with over 19 percent vote share. That's about it. And Modi's pitch for increased reservation benefits for the Madigas may or may not help the BJP in the upcoming assembly election, but the party is expecting better dividends in the next Lok Sabha election. By promising a committee to look into the Madiga's demand for reservation benefits based on their numerical strength to what he called to end injustice, Modi has lent credence to the idea of reservation in proportionate to the population and by extension the caste census. The essential political idea behind the caste census is the numerical basis for reservation benefits and allocation of resources. PM Modi had earlier ridiculed uh, Gandhi's Jitni Awadi Utnahak slogan, saying that it seemed to suggest that the Congress leader wanted to reduce the rights of minorities. Rahul Gandhi has gone silent uh, with the slogan since then, although he has kept up the demand for a national caste census. The Prime Minister accused the opposition parties of committing the sin, quote unquote, of dividing the country in the name of caste. Incidentally, it's the BJP that seems to be revising its stance on the caste census now. So, in 2018, uh, then Home Minister Rajnath Singh had decided to enumerate OBCs in 2021 census. In fact, the decision was made public through an official press release. It came a year after the centre had uh, set up the Rohini Commission for subcategorization of the OBCs to ensure a more uh, equitable uh, distribution of reservation benefits. However, the government changed its stance uh, later, a couple of years later. It made very clear that there won't be any uh, census, or there won't be any caste census as a matter of policy. Prime Minister Modi has been slamming the opposition parties for trying to divide India on caste lines by talking about caste census. But the BJP seems to be changing its stance again. Home Minister Amit Shah recently declared that his party was never opposed to caste census and such decisions 
have to be taken after careful thought at an appropriate time. The BJP's seeming U-turn on the Jitni Awadi Utna Haq and the caste census suggest uncertainty and self-doubt. The ruling party seems to be struggling to come up with a clear view on reservation politics. By supporting the Madiga's demand, PM Modi has also put himself in a twist when it comes to OBC subcategorization. After 13 extensions, the Rohini Commission, which was supposed to submit a report in January 2018, finally submitted it in August this year. The opposition seems to be unmindful of it so far, but by lending his weight behind the Madigas, Prime Minister Modi has exposed himself to questions about the implementation of the Rohini Commission report and the need for a national caste census. He cannot call it a sin anymore. That's all from me in this episode of Politically Correct. Thanks for watching.